another vlog. So I know the lighting in here is pretty garbage, so forgive me about that, but I need to know. Does anybody else's husband do this? Look at this floor. Look at all of these clothes. Here's the hamper. It's literally right here. And that's not even like our hamper or the household hamper. This is one that's here specifically and solely for him. My son and I each have one in the bathroom. I put this one in here because this is where he undresses. So I figured it'd be easier. He could just bloop right there, no problem. But uh, apparently I underestimated how difficult it would be to put things into the basket. Such a gloomy, ugly day. Can you please talk about this big old box, which is longer than my arm, and all of this obscene amount of packaging. For this, literally two books and a CD-ROM. Really? That's absurd. And then we have another box here with literally every art supply you could ever desire or think of. Just nuts. Absolutely bonkers. This is the sort of stuff he gets for his birthday. <laughs> Because it's what he's into, I guess. School supplies. We've always been very like educational toy driven in this house. There's very few things around the house that are just like for entertainment purposes. And I know that makes us sound awful, <laughs> but that's just how it's always been. And he doesn't know any different. So that's just the kind of stuff he gravitates towards. When we go to the toy stores, he's always wanted books and stickers and markers and things like that. Cause that's just what he knows. Speaking of his birthday, he got his first gift. My bestie got him this singing steamboat willy, which is so cute. And look at this amazing shirt. It's like way too big. She says that hopefully by his next birthday he'll be able to fit in it, but apparently the next size down seemed way too small, so she figured she'd err on the side of too big because he could always grow into it. I think it's so cute. And it's very him. My son loves Mickey. Grocery delivery time. I had a comment this last week on my Whole Foods grocery haul and the comment was regarding like how much more expensive is it to shop at Whole Foods? Is it more expensive? And my comment back was something like, well, compared to the quality you're getting anywhere else, if you're comparing apples to apples, then no, it's not more expensive. I find that organic chicken, organic veggies, etc. tend to be cheaper at Whole Foods than at my market and I shop sales, etc. The fact is, is that if you're used to eating Doritos and, you know, processed foods, quick foods like that, and then suddenly you start buying organic eggs, organic meat, yeah, it's going to feel way more expensive, but you're not really comparing apples to apples here, right? So for us, we eat very simply around here. We don't snack a lot. We eat a lot of whole foods. And because I prioritize what we eat, we kind of do without in other areas of life so that we can put more money into our food budget. But if you shop simply and if you shop intentionally and thoughtfully, there's no reason why you can't get everything you need at Whole Foods and save money at the same time. So I decided I should start my morning by spilling almost boiling French press onto myself. It's not so bad where I feel like I need medical attention, but it's definitely left a mark on my tummy and I can assure you it was not at all pleasant. Yeah, I have a feeling that swim is not gonna happen today. This is my latest first meal obsession. I used to do this a lot when I was on Whole30, but I would add potatoes to it then. Obviously I can't do that now, but this is just chicken apple sausage onions, green onions, and then I've got garlic powder, salt, pepper, and dill. And then I top it with three runny yolked eggs, and it's just sublime. Kiddo's asking for a bath this morning, so I'm sacrificing an ickle baby bot for him. That's love right there, when you're willing to share your lush. And after the bath, bubble guppies in bed, because this is how we spend our weekend. We're back! Say hi Christmas trees! Food 
food, food. Nom, nom, noms. Probably should have showed you this before I mixed it, but it's delicious. Rest assured. I just got in an order from Crave Bakehouse. I said I was only going to order them every once in a while as like a treat, but they had pumpkin spice donuts and that's like my kryptonite. These are also actually glazed. They're not like separated like the other ones were. By the way, if you want to see my review of Crave Bakehouse donuts, I'm going to put the link right there. They look good and I think I'm going to try one right now. I probably won't have a whole one right now, but I just want to taste one. That is not even fair. <laughs> wow. Not Spawn, by the way, but you've got to love a company that allows you to be keto and dairy-free and still maintain your right to be basic. Basically done eating, but it just occurred to me, like, maybe you guys want to see what I had for lunch. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, here it is, in case you do. Good morning all. I had to get up early and shower and wash my hair this morning. I'm usually a night showerer. Showerer. But my son decided that he wasn't gonna go to sleep last night until pretty much like quarter of midnight. And I wasn't gonna shower at that time. Funny enough, unexpectedly, it's past nine and he's still asleep. So now I gotta get him up because we gotta get going. You know you're in Miami where it's 84 degrees outside and you're like, wow, it is so cool and breezy. It's definitely autumn today. Did I say 84? I'm at 85. Gotta go send all these packages. Sold a bunch of stuff on Macari over the weekend and now I gotta get it to where it's going. What was that I was saying this morning about autumn finally being here? Hey guys, it's morning. Sorry for the weird shot, but I'm trying to find a way where the camera will stay up in the car and I can focus on driving without my kid being in the shot and it's just been a mission. But we're on our way to the dentist now. This will be our first time going to the dentist without a therapist. We usually go with somebody from his behavior team and they help kind of like guide the appointment, but also they take notes of like, what needs to be worked on for next time and they formulate a plan with the dental team of how they can best make that happen and so we're not doing that this time because our analyst had an emergency a personal emergency and so she's not going to make it so it's just mama and the guy for the first time ever <laughs> so i'm not as worried about him doing well i know he'll do fine we've been practicing a lot i'm more worried about like making sure that I take detailed enough notes that I can fill in the ABA team later and it'll be like, you know, it won't be missed that there wasn't anyone there. I don't know. So that's what's going on this morning. Sorry for the lighting, but is this the stuff of nightmares or what? Worst appointment ever. He was just acting up because his BCBA wasn't here. Everything that we spent the last month practicing, like 24 seven, he just refused to do. Like, I am not your monkey. I am not gonna perform on command. Sucks because this was supposed to be the visit where the dentist was gonna finally like do the cleaning because for the last year, he's only really seen techs. And then the dentist comes in at the end of the visit just to like, take a peek, you know, do a little something to get him warmed up to the idea that it's not always going to be a tech, eventually it'll be the dentist, but the dentist hasn't done a full cleaning on him yet. This was supposed to be the visit, but he acted out in such a way that he was just like, you know what, I'm not going to push him. He did well enough, let's leave it alone because I don't want him to leave here with like a negative association. So it ended up being the exact opposite of what we were anticipating. Well, it could have been worse. He didn't have a bad time or anything. He was just being really mischievous and like refusing to cooperate basically. So it's not like he's traumatized or anything. If anything, he might have traumatized the tech. Oh well, the day goes on. I'm leaving the grocery store right now and as I was getting into my car, I saw a dude walk by wearing a ding dang shirt and I was about to yell, Tim Tracker! Even though obviously that was not him, but just to like, oh my gosh, I, I found another Tim Tracker fan in the wild. Like, that never happens. That's literally never happened. But I didn't because my kiddo was already in the car and I wasn't about to start a conversation with a strange man while my kid waits for me in a hot car. Not the way to go about things.
the most Miami thing you'll ever experience. Halloween pool noodles. This needs to be in the dictionary next to the word precarious. So I'm about to do some baking. I've got a recipe here that I've never tried before from a website called Back for Seconds. I'm gonna be making funfetti white chocolate brownies. My son can't eat any of this stuff because it's got butter, it's got flour, there's all sorts of things in here that he can't eat. And to be honest, he wouldn't eat it anyways. He's not much for sweets, he's not much for new foods. Meh. But I always like to bake for his therapist and stuff because they always kind of do like an impromptu party type thing for him on his birthday. And so I like to provide the treats. So here we go. Finished product. I made two batches because I wasn't sure how many I'd need for all the therapists. So I don't know how much I'm gonna actually share from my son's birthday. So I have a feeling it's either gonna be very, very, very little, in which case it'll easily fit into next week's Week in the Life, or I'll wanna do an entire video on it, in which case it won't fit on this one anyway. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here and next time you see us for a vlog on Saturdays, it'll be something to do with my son's birthday. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this week in the life. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell. I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. If you really like what you're watching, I would also love it if you would share. Sharing my videos is the easiest way to support me bring new friends into the party, and yeah, I would just love it if you did. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!